World leaders, including U.S. President Joe Biden, have begun to arrive in London ahead of Queen Elizabeth's funeral on Monday. Thousands of mourners have been queuing in central London for a fourth straight day, hoping to see the coffin of the late monarch. Thousands continue to patiently wait in a kilometers long queue for a chance to glimpse the coffin of Queen Elizabeth II as she lies in state at Parliament's Westminster Hall in central London. Some mourners were treated to an unscheduled walkabout by King Charles and his son William, who came out to thank those who had been queuing overnight for several hours. Come on all this way from Birmingham just to pay our respects and do the honourable thing. But just meeting the king himself and the prince has just made the whole worth worth getting down here. On Saturday, William joined his brother Harry and their cousins to stand vigil by their grandmother's coffin. Prince Harry, who is no longer working royal, was allowed to wear a military uniform at the king's request. Like their parents the day before, the eight cousins stood vigil for 15 minutes as mourners continued to quietly file by. I can't describe it. It was just nothing obviously ever experienced before and yeah it was just so poignant so emotional um, and we were very lucky enough to see all the grandchildren there as well so um, but yeah a real moment in time King Charles III is meeting with Commonwealth leaders at Buckingham Palace this is a delicate time for the 56 member body with some questioning the Commonwealth's purpose Last year, Barbados became the world's newest republic after it officially removed the Queen as its head of state. Charles will be counting on his whole family to keep the Commonwealth family of nations intact. More heads of state, including U.S. President Joe Biden, are arriving in time for Queen Elizabeth's state funeral on Monday. More than 10,000 police officers are being deployed, making it the largest security operation in London's history. For more, we are now joined by our correspondent, Birgit Moss, who's reporting from London. Well, the final day of the Queen's lying in state, Birgit, and although I suspect I know the answer to this question, let me ask you, have the queues subsided? Well, it's not any old queue, it's the queue. And there's even a queue for queuing for the queue. And no, it hasn't subsided. Um, the official advice is there is a Twitter handle for it and there is a YouTube channel for it. And the official advice is from the Ministry of Culture, don't set off now to basically join the queue because the queue is already very, very long and the queue to join the queue is also very long. So people you know, still want to be part of this momentous event. And this, I suspect, is why many people are still thinking about going. But it's really very, very, very busy. It's, of course, an extremely British um, affair. I've been there. I've spoken to people at the queue, and they were very happy um, that they were there, you know, made friendships, uh, exchanged phone numbers to share their memories afterwards. But at the moment, uh, they're being advised if they are not already on their way or actually in the queue, not to set off and join it. My goodness, a queue to join the queue. Um, what's planned for today? Well, at the moment, uh, we still have heads of state arriving. We've seen that President Biden um, has arrived, for example, in London. And we know that King Charles is going to be very, very busy today in Buckingham Palace. He's um, meeting Prime Minister Liz Truss, but also, um, importantly, he's meeting the ha um, Prime Ministers of the so-called realms, where the where he is still the head of state, and we are informed that this includes um, Papua New Guinea and Antigua and Barbuda. Also, he's meeting other um, heads of state of Commonwealth countries, and you've already hinted at it. Um, you know, it will be very, very important for him to keep these connections with the leaders of, of Commonwealth countries in order to make sure that this organization will go forward under his leadership. 
clearly a very emotional time for many Britons. How is the country gearing up for tomorrow's funeral? People have been arriving in central London, so it's incredibly busy in London, and we're expecting more people to come. So people have been camping overnight near Buckingham Palace. They want to get basically front seats uh, at the processions tomorrow, and they want to be there and see it with their own eyes and not just on one of these many, many screens. And security forces are in basically in overdrive. The police are coming from all across the country to make sure that this huge security operation is going well at this massive event on Monday in London. All eyes will be upon it, I am sure. Birgit Maas reporting from London. Many thanks.